Have you ever thought about where you buy your flowers from? In the UK, over 85% of flowers that you can buy in florist shops and supermarkets are imported. And in America, there's a very similar figure of over 80% of the flowers sold in America are imported. So I'm going to share in this video seven different reasons why you may want to consider buying local flowers instead. Nowadays, there's a growing interest in the provenance of food and this trend is starting to grow into the world of flowers as well and people are thinking about where their flowers have come from. And they're also thinking about the environmental impact of imported flowers. Something to bear in mind before we talk about the reasons to buy locally grown flowers is that there is a limited season. So because of the, the growing season, the growing season is generally in the Northern Hemisphere, at least for example, in the UK from March, April through to October, November, that's when you can find locally grown flowers. For the other months, there's very limited supply. So for 60%, over 60% of the year, you can get access to locally grown flowers. And later in this video, I'll share some resources which will help you find those flowers. So let's look at some of the reasons that you might like to buy local flowers. The first one is reduced carbon footprint. Local flowers are much more environmentally friendly. Imported blooms may have to travel a very long way to actually reach you. And with Holland, for example, where the auctions are, Holland do grow lots of their own flowers, but they also import flowers from all over the world, including Ecuador and Colombia and Kenya. So that's lots of air miles. Another thing to bear in mind with local growers is that many of them don't use extra heat or light. So that again is reducing their carbon footprint. Number two is the benefit from freshness. Local flowers are always going to be fresher than imported flowers. There's less distance from actually being in the field and cut to actually then getting into your vase. So you'll always end up with a fresher flower. If you think of it, imported blooms, they need to be cut, they need to be packed, they need to be sent to either um, shipping or air freight, and then they need to be actually unloaded, wh whichever country they're gonna be in, and then they need to be distributed to maybe the wholesaler and then onto the florist. So really think about the fact that there's going to be a much longer um, journey for them to come, so they're not going to be as fresh. Number three is the seasonality of flowers. Because different flowers are available during different months of the year, you'll always have something new to look forward to. At the beginning of the year, you'll have things like narcissi and tulips, and then you'll move into anemones and ranunculus, and then onto peonies, and then onto dahlias and chrysanthemums. So there's always something new to look out for. Number four is character and charm. Now I've got some beautiful anemones here, which I bought from the Real Flower Company. And when I say character and charm, what I mean is that they have wonky stems, which are very cute. And it means they really look like they've just been picked from the garden. And many flowers also have tendrils or they just are a little bit quirky. Um, yeah, they just have a bit of a mind of their own, more character. And this just picked from the garden look is very on trend at the moment, not just here in the UK, but also in the States. So yeah, that's what I love about them. Number five is scent. Many local growers grow varieties of flowers which are scented. So I've got some more flowers from the Real Flower Company I'm just gonna share with you. Um, these beautiful sweet peas and the scent is wonderful. So bear in mind, if you buy local flowers, then you might also benefit from having scented flowers. So many imported flowers nowadays, because they're bred purely for their longevity, that means that they haven't got the scent. You basically can't have one or the other, generally. You can't have a long, long lasting flower and a really scented flower. So bear that in mind. If you really like scented flowers, then buying local flowers is a great way of actually getting that. Number six is by buying local flowers, you're encouraging local wildlife and biodiversity. If people are growing flowers near you, that's encouraging birds and bees and wildlife, and it will improve the biodiversity in your local area. 
Number seven is to support your local economy. By buying local, you're not only supporting that particular grower or seller, but you're also supporting the community and the economy as a whole. So where can you buy local flowers? Well, my first stop would be your florist. Ask your florist whether they supply local flowers. If you're in the UK, you might also be able to buy local flowers from a supermarket. I know many supermarkets nowadays on the actual wrapping of the flowers, they'll have a little Union Jack flag. So check the origin if you are buying flowers in a supermarket. If you would like to buy directly from a flower farmer, then in the UK, do check out Flowers From The Farm. I'll put a link to their website below. On the website, you can click on Find Flowers and then you can put in your postcode and find local flower growers in your area. And there's something similar in the States called the Association of Speciality Cut Flower Growers. And they also will link you with local flower growers. So I hope this video has opened your eyes to the many reasons why you may like to buy local flowers. If you're based in the Northern Hemisphere and you're buying flowers between March, April through to October, November, then really think about maybe buying some locally grown flowers and you'll benefit because they'll be fresher, you'll have different types of flowers available different months and you'll also have their quirkiness and their scent. And then the environment will benefit, the local economy will also benefit. It's just something to think about. If you'd like to know some more about cut flowers, I have some specific videos on some of the spring flowers available at the moment, and I'll put a link to two of them on the screen now. So one will be Narcissi and the other is Tulips. I hope you enjoy watching those two.